Hello, this is Marcus Fry with QMS Inc. Today we're going to be showing you the change documents in QIM. The first thing we'll do after we've run our work list, we will go into the issue. You get a new window that comes up. We'll put this issue into edit mode. And then the magical button is the show issue hierarchy. I'll bring this over so we can select this change documents line item down here then I'll bring that back over so we get a little better view and if you want an even better view what we recommend is to export this to a spreadsheet it'll open in Microsoft Excel the things that we want to take a look at are, that are the most important are is this issue category and then everything over to the right so we can see if was it a quality issue or down below, we can we can see you know if it was an effect, effect, cause, defect, basic activity or extended activity. So I'll go back up to the top, and then we want to know what issue ID is this pertinent to, as well as the activity numbers or effect numbers, defect numbers. Those are down there as well. So these four columns here, we want to see what the old value in the field was. So this was changed from justified to not justified by me, Marcus Fry. But then we have the date, what day did they do that, and then what time did they do that. And then of course it says it was updated showing that that field was changed. So that's our issue change documents. So to take that away I'll just hide the issue hierarchy. Then we'll run our activity work list we'll go into this activity show you the activity change documents so we have change documents for both we'll put this into edit mode we'll click the show activity hierarchy magical button there again we can highlight the change documents line item we will bring this over and then take we can take a look at what we got here as well as you know the spreadsheet again so again the same thing what's the activity number is yes it's a basic activity it would say extended activity if it was extended activity we want to say okay here's the old value so it looks like they were changing the person responsible so it used to be Paul Moderman was the person responsible but they changed it to 33 Vivian Edwards and then again on another date the February 15th of this year to John Doe and then you know who changed that the day that they changed that, and then what time. So that's the QIM change documents. Thanks for watching.